community shout outs. We got a few new people to welcome. J S, and that is spelled capital J, lowercase e, space capital S. Welcome to the neighborhood, and they came over from Nikki and John. <coughs> Chrissy S. Welcome to the neighborhood. Do you know who that is? Mm-mm. That's Bambi's daughter. Oh. Cool. Welcome. Mallory Love. Welcome to the neighborhood. Also over from Nikki and John. So thank you. And those are the three new people we have. We also have a birthday, Alex Griffin, his birthday was on December 7th, so happy birthday to you, Alex Griffin. Mm -hmm. Okay, last week I said somebody's name wrong, so we're going to try and get it right tonight. If I say it wrong again, just let me know. Clowny Creppy, welcome to the neighborhood. And again, let me know if I said it wrong. Brittany Olson just found out her aunt is pregnant with her third child. And she is due on February 16th. So congratulations to you, Brittany, and to your aunt for having her third child. We also were asked last week by Elena Gibson to send out thoughts and prayers for her best friend's big sister going through chemotherapy. I asked for her friend's sister's name so we can do thoughts and prayers for her by her name. And her name is Fiona. So if we could all send out thoughts and prayers for Fiona... Um, for her third for going through chemotherapy. I would greatly appreciate that We have two people we haven't heard from in a while So we finally heard from them and that makes us very happy Trisha Weiss We are glad to hear from you We've missed you glad to have you back and we hope everything is going well for you Betsy Wetsy we have been so worried about you, girl. We know that you have been going through some medical issues, and we are glad you finally got back with us, yeah. and we hope all is going well, and you are in our thoughts and prayers for positive results from the doctors. Okay, and Bella Luna. Thoughts and prayers are needed for Bella Luna. She was in the hospital for three weeks of November. Oh. One week of that was spent in ICU. She is now out of the hospital and home, but she cannot walk correctly, and the doctors cannot figure out why. Mm -hmm. So if we can all keep Bella Luna in our thoughts and prayers, we would greatly appreciate that. So Bella Luna, you're in our thoughts and prayers, and we love you, girl. Okay, so that's what we have. Last week's question was, name three things you want for Christmas. Um, okay, I'm going to read a few to you, just a few, because there were so many. I'm going to read Tanya Longley. What I really would want for Christmas would be money, 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 laugh out loud. But really, I would love the whole family together for the holiday Something that hasn't happened in many years. After all, Christmas to me isn't about the gifts. It's about the love of family and friends. And I so couldn't agree with you more. And Crimson Fairy. Top three things on my list is sleep. Yeah. Rain for California. Yeah. And I think this one might be a hint to Kevin. A new faucet installed in my bathroom. <laughs> I think that's a hint to Kevin. And then we're going to read Bambi S. Top three items on my list are more like top three wishes. I am wishing that with the new year that my son feels a lot better GI wise. So we can go out more often. I am wishing that Kevin finds a job 
so you can stay in your beautiful house that you love so much. And last but not least, I wish to win the lotto. Most likely not, but would be nice. Could not think of anything else. What would I do with the winnings? Help the neighbors, pay off my simple house, rent it out, car, etc., and buy a ranch so I have so I can have our horses in our own backyard with plenty of room for Megan's pig. Pretty cool. So, thank you very much for including us in on That's that, right. Bambi. We're moving in with you, I think. <laughs> we lose our house, we're coming to your house. And Bella Luna. Let's see, only three. Yes, only three. Win a winning lotto ticket for the big Powerball jackpot. A self-cleaning house. <laughs> yeah, I would like that too. And a tiny monkey who would sing to me in French. Actually, I would like my health back. And that's when she tells me about her spending the time in the hospital. So... Those are what I'm going to read today. What are your top three things for Christmas? Well, obviously a job. That would be nice. And um, I really can't think of anything else. Job. Then I can get everything else. Yeah. So. Yeah. Mine's going to be a little bit more... Tugging on the heartstrings. Uh -oh. Mine are more more like wishes than than gifts as well. Um, one would be financial security, whether it be through Kevin getting a job, whether it be through our YouTube channel taking off, whatever it takes, financial security, so that we wouldn't have to struggle daily. We can live a comfortable life paying our bills, paying our mortgage on our house and live comfortably and and not stress over everything. Two would be to, like Tanya said, um, be closer to family and friends um, during the holidays and in their time of need. And three, let's see if I can do this without crying, is a cure for diseases that take people's lives, such as cancer. It's a horrible, horrible disease. So, those are my three Christmas gifts or wishes. So, okay, this week's question is, what is your most memorable Christmas and why? There you have it. Okay. It's time for Neighborhood Community Credit Roll. Okay, so last week's question was about the newest movie out, horror film, Crumpus. Krampus, depending on how you want to pronounce that. Uh, where did he come from? What is his origin? And um, basically, he is a pre-Christian pagan uh, creation, and I think he was created probably just to scare children into behaving, because he's, he's supposed to whip them with sticks and, and chains and drag them into, you know, throw them into a basket and drag them out. I've never heard sounds of like, Krampus. Sounds like it's some great childhood memories, I would say, if you grew up in that, that period. He's actually still celebrated in some European uh, countries like Austria and Germany. Uh, he probably has a Norwegian or Norse um, uh, background, where he came from. Uh, he kind of resembles Kernunus of, of the, the Celtic um, mythology, but um, he, uh, nowadays he's sort of put together with Santa as the guy who's the heavy bad, Rumpus takes care of you. Uh, we have other ones like uh, Black Pete that shows up in Scandinavian countries along with Sinterklaas, as he always says, he's always associated with Black Pete, and I don't think he's a negative character anymore. Constantly changes, but yep, uh, that's Rumpus. And those who got that correct were Terry 
Johnson, Tanya Longley, The Abyss, Night Trading 2, Destiny Swan. Woohoo! AK, uh, tonight's question, another good horror film from around Christmas time, Silent Night, Deadly Night, 1984. It's very hard to find this movie anymore. However, um, it, when it first came out in November of 1984, it came out the same weekend as um, Nightmare on Elm Street, and it outsold Nightmare on Elm Street. But it was pulled after the second week. Why? Why was it pulled? Why? There you have it. There's your question of the week, your trivia question of the week, and some tears for me once again. <laughs> You are all part of our neighborhood community, each and every one of you out there. We would not be here today if it weren't for all of you out there. We love you all very much. Thumbs up. Make sure you go by and check out everything else that we do. And we will see you guys next week. <laughs>